One of Alabama's biggest fans got a big surprise, literally. Star Alabama nose guard Terrence Mount Cody made an unannounced and unplanned visit to see Mike Ellis. Family members call Ellis Alabama's number one fan. NBC 13 HD's Chris Pallone is here to explain why Cody dropped in on Ellis and made several new fans in the process. Chris. Mike, Terrence Cody was signing autographs for fans in nearby Childersburg Saturday afternoon when he got word of a tied fan in need. Soon, Mount Cody, his manager, and his girlfriend were on their way to Sylacauga for a visit the Ellis family, their friends and neighbors, won't soon forget. This is Mike Ellis at a golf tournament last September holding a Nick Saban autographed football. This is Mike Ellis today. He can still toss the ball a little bit, but over the past seven months, cancer has robbed Mike of his voice, his strength, and soon it will likely rob him of his life. Yeah, you still got it, Mike. Last September, when he was diagnosed with cancer, doctors told Mike he probably had less than a month to live. But they knew how big an Alabama Crimson Tide fan he is and issued Mike a challenge. When doctor walked in and said, you're going to see the Southeastern Conference game, the Alabama Open game, the, uh, what, the Super Bowl game, the National Championship game. And we're dead. Mike has been defying odds ever since, and last weekend, one of his favorite Tide players paid Mike a special visit. I heard somebody say, here he comes, here he comes. And just as soon as I recognized him, tears just started coming down my eyes. Standing in Mike Ellis's hospital room was the man who single-handedly saved Alabama's season with a big hand swat of the football, Terrence Mount Cody. A neighbor asked Cody to visit Mike while the lineman was signing autographs in a nearby town. Cody didn't hesitate to say yes. The Ellis's thought he would say hello, sign some autographs, and then leave after a few minutes. But Cody, his girlfriend, and his manager stayed and talked for two and a half hours. Well, I guess that shows the character. Even as large as he is, he would take time for his fans. And I've heard other Times that he's just walked up to people and, and shook a hand to them, and you know that that's the type of person that that is always going to be like that. He's young; he could have been anywhere. He didn't know Mike, and to come and see it for nearly two and a half hours and never left his side. I mean. That man had a heart, a big heart. Nobody knows how long Mike's body will be able to fight, but he's defied odds countless times since doctors gave him his diagnosis. Cody's visit lifted his spirits enough to get him through this week, and the Ellis family is at peace with what's happening with their beloved father, brother, husband, and friend. I even told him this morning that I don't know what God's plan is, but I love him enough. If God's ready for him, it's okay. I'm okay with it. Maybe I wouldn't feel like I do if it wasn't for my family. But bitter, I've never asked the question why. Uh, what happens, it happens. They're doing everything they can for me. During our interview, Mandy Ellis revealed that despite her husband's love of the Crimson Tide, she is an Auburn fan. But she said that after what Terrence Cody did for her husband, she will always have a place in her heart for Cody and will remember what he did for her entire life.